The Minnesota Fighting Vikings have not officially announced their 2022 training camp dates as of right meow at, at around noonish on uh, June 21st. Uh, but rookies will probably start showing up on Sunday, July 24th. So that means that the Vikings have a little over a month of true off-season vacation left. But we have five commandments, five things that need to happen uh, for the Vikings this offseason before they descend upon to see a performance center bar and grill and begin training camp uh, to win their first of 12 Jerome Bardies in the next 10 seasons. Number one, stay healthy, right? So that's the whole thing. And you're worried uh, about players doing extracurricular activities, not trying to put this out in the universe, but you know, young guys with a good amount of money, they like to have their fun, right? But stay healthy, stay in the game, uh, stay ready to rock and roll uh, as training camp begins uh, in a couple of weeks. Next up, thing number two that Vikings players need to do, the five commandments, stay unarrested. Now, I saw an unofficial stat the other day that the Vikings lead the NFL in arrest since, what, 2000 or something like that. But uh, stay unarrested. Stay out of the headlines. Don't big, bring a bad press to yourself or your teammates uh, or the franchise. Uh, uh, don't, don't do that. Uh, don't do anything that will compromise uh, your uh, availability for the season. Also, don't do anything that's just bad in general. Like, how about that? Like, yes, it does come back to football, but also let's just not do anything bad. Right, and I understand, especially during the summer, having a couple beverages, get an Uber uh, or use that uh, infamous hotline that uh, uh, that the league has for all the players. Like, hey, no questions asked. You can get a ride at any point, any point, any time. Just do that, right? So don't be an idiot out there. Uh, you can have your fun for sure, but let's be responsible out there. Next up, uh, commandment number three for the Vikings this off season. Stay in shape. Now, uh, it's been great seeing uh, clusters of teammates, uh, usually position groups, uh, getting out there and getting after, getting their workouts in, and still having their fun. Because uh, it can be a working vacation. Because guys can still travel. Guys can get their work in. And guys are around the country in Texas and Florida, uh, etc. But they're still getting in the in that work because you don't want to show up to training camp out of shape. Especially if you're a bottom or fringe of the roster guy. Because if you need to get... A little bit of conditioning uh, that tells the coaches and decision makers that you didn't take this seriously and it's going to put you behind the eight ball. Maybe you won't get those reps with the twos or the threes that you've been looking for so you don't have a chance to impress. And then that precipitates into the preseason games where you don't get any reps. You can't show up and show out. And then you're going to be a long shot to make the practice squad or the 53-man roster. So uh, get all up in there. Next up. Number four, stay dialed in. Now, even though the Vikings, they had offensive install at OTAs as well as minicamp uh, plus defense. So they have two brand new schemes, actually three, uh, since new special teams coordinator Matt Daniels is in there as well. So guys, even veterans, have to be in the playbook. They have to be dialed in. They have to have their iPads. Sorry, they're, they're blue Microsoft surfaces. Just studying and learning uh, their roles, etc. Because they want to hit the train. Uh, you want to hit the ground running in training camp. Now you don't have to be a bookworm. You don't have to be all up in there 24 hours a day. Uh, 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 oh, they, they should be reading their playbooks. Now you don't have to do that, but make sure that you are dialed in on exactly what the coaching staff needs you to be dialed in on uh, over the next couple weeks. Lastly, be present. Be stay dialed in, but be present because uh, significant others, kids, family members, friends. This is really the only time of year that you truly have off uh, during the off season. So uh, be present for them. Uh, it's the summer. Uh, Minnesota is beautiful in the summer, or wherever the players hail from. Uh, but yeah, get get your time in with the family. Uh, make sure that you are present. Make sure that yes, you are getting your workouts in. Yes, you are staying up to date on wh whatever the coaches staff needs you to do. But take time. Uh, away from the phone and distractions and all that stuff and make sure that you are there for them uh, because, I mean, the season can be a grind, man. It can absolutely be a grind because uh, kids are in school. They have their, their own schedules. Significant others have their own schedules. And then the players, I mean, it's 24 hours a day. In season, uh, it can be really, really rough, especially uh, the NFL expanding to 18 games this year, uh, 17 games this year, 18 weeks uh, schedule, as well as the Vikings, of course, going super deep in the playoffs. But it'll all be worth it. Friends and family, purple and gold confetti falling down. Uh, Glendale, uh, formerly it was a State Farm Stadium now. It used to be University of Phoenix Stadium, which I thought was hilarious. It, it, but it, University of Phoenix didn't have any physical campus, but they had uh, the naming rights for a stadium. 
which is just hilarious to me. But, yeah, it, it'll all be worth it once you're hoisting that Jerome Barty, that sticky uh, Jerome Barty. One time. Just one time, man. But make sure uh, that you're spending time with them, uh, that they know that they are important in your life. Uh, and get it done. Because training camp season, it's going to be it's gonna be it, man. It's going to be it. But uh, that's it. Uh, those are five Vikings offseason commandments as the Vikings have a couple weeks left of summer vacation. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts. What would you add? What would you subtract, etc.? cetera? Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.